amount of uh, credit to Miami. Uh, they had a tough Thanksgiving holiday and, and losing a couple games that uh, uh, in their in their exempt event, and as uh, a very good team does. With a week of practice, they rebounded and, and uh, uh, very, uh, wouldn't call it complicated game plan, very simple one. And what veteran really good players do, they rose to the occasion. And uh, uh, we knew Likes was going to be a problem. His uh, uh, prowess and ability to shoot the ball uh, was uh, in effect early. Um, and, uh, you know, and then we let uh, Vasilovich, who's very, very underrated, he's one of the elite shooters in the country, uh, we let him get off the, off the snide early. But um, our defense was, was very, very poor. Uh, this is on me. I did a very poor job and, and uh, uh, in our guys ready. And that can't happen. That's no excuse for that. You saw what a little fight does in the second half. I'm really proud of the fight. Uh, down 27, and to have the ball with a chance to win a game. Uh, I'm extremely proud of that uh, competitive spirit. But uh, uh, we were not very good in shoot around today. Uh, in fact, we were as poor a shoot around today as we've had in my time here. Uh, and we were not very good in practice the, day, the couple days coming up. Uh, experimented a little bit with some things and, and uh, got away from uh, uh, just getting after it. And that was evident in the first half. But give uh, Miami a lot of credit. They, they deserve the win. Questions for the players? Oh. Andres, did you, did you see this coming? What do you think was lacking to start this game for you guys? Like Coach say, um, we started really slow on the defensive side. And, um, you know, they was hitting shot. And we was fighting to, you know, contain them. But, like, uh, our defense was like really low. Like that's not useful for us. We tough team we'll go out and sit down and I think that wasn't there tonight and we just gotta get better in that part. Scott, there you go. Georgia the coach mentioned the shoot around wasn't great in a couple of practices weren't well, what did you maybe see or feel from your teammates just that you weren't at the level that maybe you've come to expect? Just didn't come ready as we should, you know, uh, into shoot around or practice. Um, not as focused as we should have been, you know, not as dialed in. Um, didn't go as hard as we can. You know, you always can go harder and harder, and we didn't go as hard as we could. And uh, that's on our part, that's pledge, but just to come ready every day. And, you know, as we say, be everyday guys. But um, just we wasn't ready. We, wasn't, we didn't practice as hard. You know, and uh, we'll get that right. Right. Andres, what maybe changed in the locker room at halftime to, to get you guys going? It's our energy, our energy. As soon as we came out, you, you saw we like we was fired up. Um, but we, you obviously cannot um, win a game like going 27-9 the first half. Um, I think we should have started um, with that energy from the beginning like we always do. And, um, you know, we just got to come together and keep fighting. Because we like great team on the on the defensive side, and that's why led us to a good offense. Eric, Georgia, just what was the mentality of yourself and your the teammates when you guys were down 27 points in the first half? Get back into the game. Huh. I mean, what what's the other mentality you have? You, we don't have those guys that you know we down 27 and all we lost the game. You know, no, like we was we got we had energy in the locker room. We was we better get this back. I think we had a really, really good shot at it, uh, but we didn't win. Obviously, anytime we're down, we want to get back. We had a tough, tough team, so we just uh, was trying to get back. We did, but we came up short. Andres, as a, as a leader, as a senior, how do you get your guys ready for you know shoot around before a game? So this doesn't happen again. Um, we just gotta come on more focused. You know, obviously we're going to step in and that part. Um, Get my teammates ready, get myself ready, um, and have everybody prepare for them for the next game and you know for the next practice. You know, like we just gotta focus. Like um, yeah, I saw it earlier in the in the, in the seasons. You know how tough we are, and uh, we just gotta bring it. We just gotta bring it and stay together, man. This is gonna be fun to watch because you know we're gonna be great. We're gonna be great. We're a great team. You know. 
Andres, you're one of the better defensive players on the team. You're really good on ball. Coach Andrew talks a lot about flow on offense. Do you guys feel like you struggled to get into a defensive flow tonight, especially in the first half? I mean, we all talk you know, uh, on the team, you know, like everybody got the ball. Um, like for us, like, it was a slow start on both sides. Uh, uh, we were shooting, uh, our, our shot wasn't going in. And uh, I think like everything comes from our defense. Our defense gonna start that slow, like it did today. Uh, we just gotta get better on that point, and that's what we're going to do in the next few days. Okay. George, this is for you. This is the third straight game where you guys kind of started off slow. And the second half the energy was different. I mean, this is Division One basketball. Why does it take, what does it take for you guys to get motivated to start the game early so you don't get behind so early? I mean, we are motivated. I, just, I don't think that's a question. It's just a uh, thing that we got to figure out. It's the, I mean, it's not really start of the season, but I mean, we played, what, seven games by now? We just got to figure it out, I say. Everybody's really, really motivated to play. We wait half a year to be in the season. You know, everybody's really motivated. We just got to figure it out. Maybe something is wrong, you know, and we will maybe look at the film or do whatever <coughs> talk with the coaches and just uh, as a whole, whole unit, we will figure it out. <coughs> Georgia, how important was Kofi just being so consistent to help you guys get back in the game in the second half? Huge, huge, especially, I mean, he is a freshman and doesn't have a lot of experience, but uh, obviously he came up really huge for us, made a uh, really, really big play, scored, uh, what, 23 points, uh, just so huge, and I mean, he's just dominant, and um, I mean, really good game for him, I'm really happy for him. Yeah. Um, Andres, what did you see um, Chris likes to do out there to, to get separation and kind of, you know, do what he did tonight? Um, his quickness, you know, like he's a short guy, you know, but like really, like really good player, and um, he, he just his quickness, you know, like he was using uh, his quickness at his advantage, and uh, you know, we was trying to do like whatever we could do, you know, to contain him and you know, contain his shot. But he was like good player gonna make shots, you know, and that's what he did tonight. So credit for him. Any questions for the players? Okay, thank you, man. Uh, before we leave, too, a uh, huge, huge uh, thank you to all the people that came to the game because, I mean, energy was unbelievable in the arena. We was down 20, and then everybody stayed, you know, and everybody got real loud. Orange Crush, obviously, so a uh, big, big thank you for them. Uh, thank you for the support. We will keep at it and get better. Thank you. Yeah. Brad, what makes for a bad shoot around? Uh, attention to detail, attention to scouting report. Um, you know, it's something that uh, we've we've had very few of this year. We were pretty, we've always been pretty dialed in, and, and uh, today just uh, uh, you know asking them a simple question: How do their four men guard ball screens? And nobody knew the answer. And it was like, hey, we've covered this for two days, and uh, you know, it wasn't as much physical as it was mental. Um, but uh, again, maybe that's. Uh, uh, that's on me. You know, it's my job to try to correct those things and, and, and make sure that we're emphasizing the the uh, the right things. Right in the back. Brad, did you like Io's attempt to get to the hoop at the end? And if you could do it again, would you have changed anything? Well, we would have loved to get it on the rim. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you put the ball in one of your best players' hands and and, and try to get it to uh, try to get it to the rim uh, and or make a make a play and. Uh, Again, uh, likes as he was on the offensive end, made the defensive play, and you know, give the young man, uh, give the young man credit. You know, we, we ran a little simple up screen with our big guy, and and uh, you know, he was there to support. Brad, in the preseason, you said you wanted your team to have expectations. How has that impacted them? Do you think at all? Oh, I don't think so. It's a long season. Uh, you know, I think the one thing that is that is. Um, you know, we've got to we've got to continue to do is 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 understand the importance of, of every possession of every minute and you know we, we talk about our defense early about our turnovers early and all we talked about and this is this is a very been a very common thing with this group you know we talk about you know establishing the front of the rim and you we're seven eight games in now and you start looking at the games we've done that probably a pretty good idea. And granted, a little tip play, 
and wide open, and we turned it over. And uh, but other than that, uh, we knew they were going to double. Uh, we did, uh, and, and instead of executing, we turned it over four or five times before the first media, and two or three of those were just live ball layups that led to. Uh, easy baskets at the other end, so we compounded the, the, the problem, and that's uh, you know we can't have a hero mentality. You know, it's, it's it takes everybody, and, and uh, uh, those early turnovers uh, you know forced me to burn a lot of timeouts. Coach, you just mentioned the early turnovers. You had six before the 12 minute mark, or six right around the 12 minute mark. You almost got into such a big hole in the first half that almost. <laughs> no, we did. The 20, sec 27 downs a problem. The second half, you were just trying to come out, and then you didn't have the timeout. Do you feel like you wish you had one at the end of the game to get your guys a breather or to draw something up at the end of the game? Yeah, I never look back. I mean, I, I'm doing what I have to do to, you know, it's not the first time in my career I've used all the timeouts in the first half. You're going to do what you have to do to try to stem the tide and give yourself a chance. And, you know, obviously, uh, and, you know, I'm not a, we know what to run in the last 10 seconds. And, and I'm not a guy that wants to call a timeout and, and face a changing defense. Um, but, uh, you know, we've, we've, had our, we've had our share of making those. So, uh, again, give likes a lot of credit. Allen and DeMonte had a lot of time tonight. Assess their performance. Yeah, they've been great. They've been great. Uh, you know, it was um, uh, DeMonte's our leading rebounder. and. And, uh, you know, we were able to, to play him. He was a vital part of it because defensively we were able to, to, to switch uh, on him and, and, uh, uh, and use him defensively. He made a couple of, uh, uh, you know, I thought key defensive plays. He made one that, you know, I mean, Mike's hit a tough three over, over an extended hand on him. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, DeMonte was great. Allen, uh, has been has been terrific. I mean, he's shooting the ball every time he shoots it. I think it's going in, and and uh, then he gets on the offensive glass. He made a key block or two. Uh, so yeah, he's contributing at a at a, at a both those guys at a really high level, and that's got to continue. I mean, I'm, I'm very very happy with that. Derek, coach, went more dribble weave and high ball screen in the second half. What did you like more with that versus your possessions in the spread in the first half? I mean, it didn't matter what we ran in the first half. I mean, we ran it the first half. We just turned it over. Um, it, it didn't matter what we ran, uh, and, and it's 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 really frustrating as a coach to. Uh, I mean, we dribbled it off our foot. We threw it to them. Uh, you know, and and, it's, it, and that's the mental part of the game. That's the mental part that that uh, uh, we had thought we were we'd gotten by. And, and all of a sudden, you know, early, we're just one pass and shoot it. Kipper checks in the game and has it touched the ball and shoots a three. He hasn't made one in the year. And, and, and it was just a, like, what are we doing? And, uh, but the turnovers were costly. And then when we quit turning it over, we could actually run something. Yeah. Brad, I know you're obviously pretty upset in the first half, but what did you say at the break? And how did you see guys respond to that to let you guys want to run you in the second half? Well, I talked about the Maryland game my first year. Very similar, very similar to the Maryland game, and uh, um, you know I saw a team in that game that really fought, really competed, really uh, strived, had some pride to want to come back, and that's that's literally all. I mean, it didn't matter what we talked about X's and O's. When you're turning the ball over and you're not competing, we had three offensive rebounds the first half. They're 331st in the country in rebounding. 331. That means there's 22 teams worse than that. That's it. And we had three offensive rebounds as bad as we shot. Our effort was more of an issue than anything we could do X's and O's. And we addressed that, and, and it was great to see that we got a locker room full of guys with pride, and, and, and they fought. Can't ask for anything more. You know, had we been able to finish off that last play, you've got, you're talking about a the, you know, the biggest comeback in school history, but we're not, and Miami deserves the credit for that. Coach, when you look at Maryland and Michigan coming up, what can you take from today that needs to fix, you know, moving forward? Effort, 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 effort. We, we can play with anybody. I don't doubt that for, for one second. 
there's a there's a reason Maryland's been down in a lot of games and they keep coming back and winning and and and, and they they've got a very consistent effort. They've got Anthony Cowan as senior. You look at Michigan, um, you know, you look at Teske, you look at Xavier Simpson, I don't know. All those guys, two, three stars, I don't know what they are. All I know is they win. And they compete every single night. And and you know, that's where we're trying to get to, you know, and and uh, Turge has been there 11, 12, 13 years, or however long it's been now. And you know, Juwan's near one to take it over a program that's that's, that's got winners, and uh, they bring it every single day. There's no roller coaster, and that's what we we've, we've got to we've got to get to. Coach, it's kind of a two-part question. Coming off the court, you were really upset. Was there anything in that last sequence, like going to the hoop, and then IU, you know, getting the charge? Was there anything that made you upset during that no. sequence? No, I mean, you're fr you're frustrated because your guy's five. I'm, I wasn't upset at the. The, the situation. I mean, we made a, we made a play at the other end. Um, got to stop and 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 we got the we got the ball and and one of the best guards in the country's hands and 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 their kid made a play. Their kid made a play and and you know you want to, uh, uh, you know be be fun to look at the film and 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 look at it. But you know give likes credit, man. That that kid's won a lot of games and and uh, is a heck of a player and and. Steps in, takes a charge when the, when the game's on the line. You, you you love that about him. And lastly, what what can your team learn from this experience? Yeah, how to how to come out of the locker room ready to play, and and and, and I would hope that the understanding of of playing together, not turning the ball over, moving the ball, attention to detail on a scouting report, how to prepare on the day of a game. Um, you know, we'll we'll examine all of those things, and and uh, that's where we've got to grow. Brad, you've taken the blame twice right now on this, but it seems like you can only do so much. Do you have a leadership issue in that locker room, or is that a concern of yours right now? Oh, uh, you know, I think everybody's got to be accountable. I think everybody's got to be accountable, and and uh, I'll be honest, I I I structured them. A couple of really bad practices, and it wasn't enough effort stuff to, to sustain every day the way we have to play to win. And that's 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 I'm, I'm mad at myself, and uh, and yet guys have to um, they have to fight with the pride, and and yeah I you know there's there's once the once the ball's thrown up to be quite honest there's very little a coach can do. Um, I mean, I tried everything in the first half. I mean, the, the, the play card was tried, the timeouts were run out. Um, I, you know, at some, at some point your competitive spirit has to kick in, and it did. And uh, we reminded him of a few things at halftime, and, and uh, I, I'm proud of the way we finished that one. From about the seven minute mark or so left in the game, you put Io on likes. It looked like for most of the game, he hit the shot over to Monte and I think another one. But how important was Io's defense and the slowing him down and letting you guys yeah. back into that? Got a little length on him. And, uh, uh, you know, it was, he wasn't passing. I mean, I don't, he didn't have an assist first half. He wasn't passing. And, uh, you know, again, it was, it was uh, no knock against Trent, but. Uh, uh, you know, it was more of a, of a of a coverage scheme thing that we 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 didn't uh, we didn't handle very well. But um, again, Lice has some tough shots. He's that guy. He's the guy who makes a lot a lot of hard shots when you watch film. And uh, uh, you know, we we knocked him out of his rhythm a little bit with foul trouble. That helped. Uh, and then we made a we made a terrific play to on him down the down the down the stretch, and, and, he, and he missed and. Uh, but uh, you also hit two big threes. Derek, Iowa offensively got going later in the second half, but only had four at halftime in a big game. You probably want a guy like that putting up more. Where do you think he's at with his offensive game? I, you know, it's hard to judge the. I mean, offensively, I think he's fine. He just had 24 the other night. Uh, you know, I think it's. You know, they went under all of his ball screens, and he had pull up after pull up after pull up, and. And uh, you know the first half, it didn't matter what we did offensively. When we, we turned it over and shot it after one pass, it was uh, uh, that's the growth that this team has to have. So uh, we'll, we'll uh, keep hammering away at that. Coach, 
Kofi had seven rebounds, I think, out in Arizona. He only had four tonight. Is there a way that you can scheme him to get rebounds offensively and defensively against teams that are going to try and double team him on a rebound or get an extra body in front of him to prevent him from getting the rebound? Yeah, that's one of the things I, that I'm not very happy with with myself. You know, we, we, didn't, we got away from it for a few days in practice. And uh, uh, Kofi's got to know that's coming, and it's a big part of his game. And uh, uh, it's not, you know, Kofi's next step is not the singular effort. It's the multiple efforts. And knowing that somebody's going to hit him and that you have to go take that next effort to, uh, to go get a rebound. And, and if you start accepting blockouts, uh, then it becomes very, very easy to get none. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the next step with it. Anything else for Coach? All right, thank you. See you in Maryland.